Hello everybody, I hope you are staying warm during these winter days. Uh, and today I wanted to share something that maybe you are confused about uh, or you maybe want to explore and do better. So when you buy supplements, is it confusing for you? I think it's very confusing for all of us. And supplements are really packed with bad fillers, just like junk food is packed with chemicals and unwanted ingredients. So there's actually a huge amount of junk supplements that um, can actually affect our health instead of uh, benefit our health. And it's very important that you keep an eye on the things that you're bringing into your body and maybe also educate yourself before you buy anything that you're not sure about. So all of us uh, try to supplement uh, especially as we get older, because we're not getting all the nutrients for from foods, uh, because the food quality is not the same as it was 50 or uh, 100 years ago. And yes, we do have deficiencies due to many reasons for the, because of the environment, maybe the way we're eating, and also the way we are moving and um, you know just behaving. And if you want to make a little bit of improvement and maybe uh, start making some changes, it is important that you understand that a lot of these bad fillers can not only uh, increase your inflammation, it can also affect your gut health or your microbiome, your stomach, your digestion, uh, but it can also um, promote cancer. And I'm going to tell you some of these um, fillers or additives that you should stay away from. So the first thing that I wanted to tell you is um, when you buy supplements, make sure that you read your labels. Uh, and believe it or not, these bad additives are also in my house. I have found some that I've been taking. Uh, and if you look at the back, I actually found some of these listed unwanted ingredients in my vitamin C that I take every day. So I am trying to change that. I'm also finding uh, supplements that come from whole foods, uh, like vegetables, fruits, um, maybe oils that are natural, like olive oil, uh, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, uh, also from herbs that are beneficial and they're healthier for us. So I'm going to give you some of the ones that you should stay away from. First of all, if there's anything that uh, ends with ate, like nitrate, nitrate, these are some of the, the signs that um, can tell you that number one, they're not easy to pronounce. If they're names that you don't know how to pronounce, they should not be going into your body. And also names that are uh, too long and that you don't know what they are. The first one, uh, soy lecithin. It's very common and should not be going into your body, especially if you're taking these supplements every day or more than once a day. That's just too much for us. Maltodextrin. Another that is very, very common. Cellulose fiber. Modified corn starch. And this is a huge one. High fructose corn syrup. This is one that it's not only in supplements, but also in a lot of our foods. Uh, phosphate. All of those that are and with A, T, E should not be going into your body. Uh, I recommend that you maybe find some that if you are looking to increase your iron, for example, maybe something that is made out of beets, maybe spinach, uh, lentils, things that are high in iron. Same uh, with fruits. If you're looking for something that um, you know you can use to supplement your vitamin C, for example, maybe looking for citrus fruits like uh, tangerines, lemons, uh, grapefruits, things that are um, you know coming from foods from whole foods, not things that are made in a factory or in, or in a lab. So this is just a tip for you to maybe improve. 
uh, what you're bringing into your body and also to upgrade your supplementation and your supplements that you're taking every day. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and have a great week.